This is a quick chemistry revision where I'm going to talk about atomic structure. So this is based on atomic structure. So here, I'll talk about the structure of an atom. So you must understand that here we'll talk about the composition of an atom, where you should know that an atom consists of protons and neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Very important to know this concept. Then the second thing that you should know is that it also consists of electrons. Electrons in what is known as energy levels. In energy levels, commonly known as shells, or we can also call them as orbits. Okay, so this is elementary chemistry. Then another concept that you should know here now is that in a neutral atom, in a neutral this concept is never known by many so in a neutral atom the number of protons is equal to is equal to equal to the number of electrons. This is very important concepts. Here, when you are studying this concept on an atom, these are the main, main concepts that you should do, master. Then the other concept to master is that the sum, the total, the total sum of um, protons and neutrons in an atom is equal to equal to what is known as relative relative atomic mass which is usually represented as A at elementary level. So this one is written in short form as, um, in short form in form of a, a formula as A, atomic mass is equal to P, which is a proton number, plus N, which is a neutron number. Very important to know. Then another important concept to know is that an atom on the periodic table is represented in nuclide notation. So, atoms of elements on the periodic table are represented in what is known as nuclide notation. So here using chemical symbols, chemical symbols and what? And chemical symbols and um, a relative atomic mass, relative atomic mass, and also proton number. Okay? 
So these concepts are very, very, very vital for you to know. Okay. Let me see if I can have another window here. Okay. Now, on the periodic table, for instance, sodium atom. I example. Here I'm giving you examples of nuclide notation. So here examples. So if we are to say write the following atoms in nuclide nuclide notation. So what are we going to do to write this in nuclide notation like A, I give you sodium, then B, I give you magnesium, then C, I give you calcium, then maybe D, I give you oxygen. Okay, just these examples here, I think, will be enough for you to grasp the concept. Okay, so let me try to give you quick solutions, quick solutions to these. So let's go for solutions. So for A, sodium is like this, sodium. When you go on the periodic table, the symbol is like this. They will use the symbol like this. Then there will be a number here, 11, and the number here, 23. So that is how it is. This is the nuclide notation. So this number here is proton number. Then this number here is atomic mass, the one we also call relative atomic mass. So I, I will just put atomic mass. Then this one is the symbol, chemical symbol of sodium. So if I was to ask you to say, in the same sodium here, I will say how many, atom, how many uh, electrons are there? Or how many? This is just a calculation to make you understand. How many protons, then I'll say electrons and neutrons are in sodium atom, full stop, eh? question mark. So since this sodium that we are dealing with, it is a it is a what it is a neutral atom as it is so remember that concept number of protons is equal to number of electrons okay so since the number of protons is this 11 here it means in terms of protons there are 11 so proton p there are 11 11 then in terms of electrons we have answered this one electrons Protons and electrons are equal. So it means electrons, they are also 11. Then in terms of uh, neutrons, you apply that formula which says atomic mass is equal to protons plus neutrons. So uh, A is atomic mass, which is 23. So you say 23 substitute 23 is equal to proton is 11, then plus neutron. So here you subtract, this one passes here, you say 23 minus 11 is equal to neutron. So this one will give you 12. 23 minus 11 is 12, okay? So meaning neutrons, therefore, neutron is what? Is 12. You have seen. So this is how we deal with this concept here. So let me clear this and then answer for the other one. So let's look at now. Uh, magnesium. So B, 
B, we are going for magnesium. So magnesium, if you go on the periodic table, the symbol is capital, capital M and the small letter G. And here you find there's a number 12 and here there's a number 24. So it means what I already explained. So if there is a question which says how many, how many protons, electrons, and neutrons are in a magnesium atom. So what should we say? The same applies. This one will be proton. So say, okay, proton number is equal to 12. Therefore, proton and the electron are equal. So here we can say since proton is equal to electron in a neutral atom, therefore electron are going also to be equal to 12. You see how beautiful these concepts are when you know them. Then in terms of neutron, the same applies. Atomic mass is equal to proton plus neutron. Then you substitute here atomic mass. It will be what? 24. Equals proton 12 plus neutron. Of course, this will be 24 minus 12, which is a neutron. So if you subtract this, you find that it will be 12. So neutron is equal to 12. So the game changes when you are dealing with what? When you are dealing with a charged atom or an ion. So let us also look for at calcium. No, I'm not now going to, do, to deal with the rest. I've given you some examples and therefore you should understand what can happen with the rest. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. For those interested in online tuitions, you can contact me or WhatsApp me on 097792-4100. So that you can be best prepared to understand uh, this science if you want to do a career in, in sciences. So you have to understand these things very well. So for now, guys, bye and see you in the next video. Peace.